Glad to be joined by Arkansas defensive lineman Malcolm Shepard here uh, from Media Day. It's day one, and uh, Malcolm, things are just getting going. But for you guys, uh, August 6th, it uh, probably can't come fast enough for practice. It definitely can. Um, 2008 ended the wrong way, so we're waiting for August 6th. Let's talk about 2008 a little bit. What did you guys learn from all those close games at the end of the season? It was embarrassing just to you know, to lose the games that we should have won. And then... Um, didn't lose big against teams like Alabama and Texas. It's definitely, you know, something that we don't want to repeat. What about the defense uh, and the improvements that you guys have tried to make here in the offseason? How has this offseason been different uh, than last year? We've taken it slow and um, just everybody's just going back in the playbook and, and learning to do their technique. Our defense is based on one unit. Everybody has to do their job for the defense to be successful. And so it's going to depend on each and every player just to, to handle their job. How much more comfortable do you guys feel now that it's the second year under Coach Petrino? Well, um, we've learned the system. Um, we've got we've gotten fast at the system, more educated about it, and um, I, I feel confident that you know we're gonna go out and, and and do everything that we need to do to show that this system is successful. I would say um, he's a little bit more comfortable. You know, you could tell when he first got here. Well, he's an intense coach, you know, always. But I would say he's you know gotten more set in with you know the way things are in Arkansas, and he's just done a great job showing that through all the players how comfortable he is and we're all excited to play for him. You've got a new quarterback uh, throwing you the ball this year in Ryan Mallett. What can you tell us about him and uh, how you're excited to play with him this year? First thing about Mallett, you know, the strongest arm in the country. Um, he brings that thing. You got to I bring about two, three pair of gloves out to practice because he's ripping my fingers off the, the fingers off the gloves. He's bringing it. But he's just a great leader. He's very confident, strong voice, and uh, he's going to be a good quarterback to have on the field for us next year. What about the uh, running back situation in terms of health? How's Michael feeling and, and the rest of the running backs right now? Yeah, Michael's doing great. I have a great relationship with Michael. You know, he's put on about eight pounds, and so that's not much, but for him, it's a lot. You know, he's going to hold up strong, and he's dedicated his whole summer to be able to play you know, 35 carries a game. And so he's just going to be a great back for us. And his backups, I would say, you know, they're just as good, I would say. So we're sitting pretty good at running back. And lastly for you, uh, last year led the team in receptions. And uh, I know this year in the offseason you wanted to focus a little bit more on blocking to help the running game. How, how do you feel you are there at that point? You know, not where I need to be. You know, there's always room for improvement. I've worked very hard with it in the off season by gaining weight and getting stronger in the weight room. And so it's just going to be something we'll see our first game of the year. All right, and that first game is September 5th against Missouri State. Uh, DJ Williams, good luck on the season, and uh, we'll see you later. Then.